We were just talking about the weather. It feels like everything's just, it's a lot right now. Yeah, it is. But I feel like a lot of people have been enjoying your body of work. Are you in your head about it? Do you care what people even have to say? Or is this satisfying to get all this positive? It's definitely satisfying to get positive feedback, but I mean, at the end of the day, it's like I put out the music for my fans and put out the music for people who just love music. So as, as long as I'm getting that across, I'm okay. Was there anybody on the album that you worked with that I guess you weren't expecting it to actually happen for whatever reason? Maybe their schedule, they were busy, and then it all came together, and you're happy. Tizo Touchdown. I just put him on my deluxe um congrats by the way thank you so much yeah. i put him on i, I didn't i didn't think I, I i wanted teaser on my album but i didn't think um i definitely didn't think i would be able to get, to get him on and i found a way to do it and just thankful doesn't it feel good when you accomplish something like that you're like yes yeah it definitely does but then like you have that always with you and you're ready to keep on doing it yeah when was the last time you were disappointed something did not happen i feel like everything happens for a reason too I really live by that, like, so I really can't say, oh, I wish this was like this or that was like that. It, everything kind of happens for a reason. Timing is everything, for yeah. sure. Out of all the songs, which one's your favorite? I know this is always hard, but there's got to be one that has a special meaning to you, a little bit different than the other songs. Uh, Leather Coat. Mm -hmm. Leather Coat is just, I just love the way the song sounds uh, sonically, and it just reminds me of just like, um, old MTV videos from the 90s. It sounds oh. like that to me. Like, when I see it, I visualize TLC waterfalls, the backdrop, or whatever they was dancing in front of, and, like, the street, the shot of the kid walking down the street. When I think about those shots when I listen to that song. So that's one thing I do like about it a lot. How important is visual when you're creating music? You know, just hearing you describe that right now, do you feel like you do that a lot with the creation of your music? Or maybe it's a vision that you see and then you put a song to it or vice versa. How does that work for you? Uh, yeah, when I'm, when I'm recording music, most of the time uh, I'm having a visual picture or something going on in my head and I kind of tie it all in together to make, you know, whatever song I'm trying to make, but yeah. I'm jealous because I can't do that, but that's why I'm not an artist. I can't do what you do, but you know, I love hearing the process, right? So when you put the music together and you're putting Love Sick together, I guess what's the one thing that you are worried about, concerned about when you are releasing music to your fans? Is there anything that goes through your mind and you're just like, ah? Oh. Um, I just want to get, I be want, I have a lot of music and it's like the only thing that stresses, stressful is like when you have all this music, when you just make so much music and things like I can make a song and it's just, it's like, I. I I make music and I love the music so much, it's hard to figure out what I want to do with what. That's yeah. probably like the most most hard part is just like having that music and trying to figure out which ones I really like. Do you debate with your friends? Who's part of this process with you? Or is it just you and you don't really want to get any outside input? Uh, definitely uh, my friends for sure. Yeah. I definitely, um, my A&R uh, works closer with me, Sycamore. Like, I really just go back and forth with him about a lot and yeah. we kind of just like, you know, take it day by day. Was there a song that you loved, that you believed in, that nobody else believed in, and ultimately you were right about? Private Landing. Mm. I felt like, I don't want to say everybody didn't believe in it, but it was definitely something that I just pulled out last minute because I loved the song so much and I wanted it to be on my album. And I think a lot of my fans love it. Of course, this isn't the first time you worked with your lady. Shout out to Callie. This mm -hmm. is amazing mm -hmm. on the song for me. So how does this happen? I mean, when you both are so creative, you're working together, do you guys give each other feedback or respect each other's musical space? Sometimes it's feedback, but like, we just try to like sharpen each other on whatever we're trying to do. But. Like, I really just let her do her thing. She let me do my thing, and it works. Yeah. Yeah, it can get tricky when you work with your loved one. I work with my loved one all the time, and so it, there is a fine balance, you know, because you mm -hmm. want them to be their own person and creative, and what mm -hmm. they have to say obviously works because she's so successful as well. Mm -hmm. 
So if she was here right now and I asked her, tell me one pet peeve that you have about Don, what do you think she would say about you? I don't like when she touches my things. She throws away my ash, my ash, my 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 doobies or whatever, my ashtray, and it really boils me up sometimes. She okay. probably knows about that. What's the one thing you absolutely love and adore about her? She's just a good person. Yeah. Like you know, a lot of people don't really have like don't really care about a lot, but she's just like a genuinely great person and just has a good heart, yeah. and that like is just goes a long way with me. Yeah, that's important, especially when, you know, the industry that we're in and you know what all comes along with it. So to find mm -hmm. people with a good heart, friends, a partner, I mean, it's really a blessing for sure. How proud are you right now of her and her journey? And she talked about being sober. I mean, this is a huge milestone for her. How do you motivate and encourage her to keep going? Um, she really just, she sets out to do the things that she wants to do and just accomplish them. I just watch and I'm just, uh, and you know I'm in awe and just happy that she's able to do so yeah I love that and I love that she's so invested in your music she was talking about all the songs that she liked and then we saw her talk about embarrassed and then we were like oh this is going to be off the deluxe album mm -hmm. and here we are the deluxe album comes out tell us what is it about a deluxe album? Why does that happen with an artist? Because, you know, a lot of times for us fans, we're kind of like, why not just release it all at once? Mm -hmm. What is the purpose of the deluxe album for you? The deluxe album for me is solely just try to give my fans just a little bit more of what they were already getting. Yeah. I feel like, honestly, um, there was a lot of requests for a record with me and Travis and a couple other unreleased records. And... I just wanted to make sure I did it, you know, the way I wanted to and make sure the people who partnered up with me to drop the song, songs as well was happy with it. So it was more or less me just wanting to give my fans something. And I just, I like it. It's like a, it's like a dark mode, but I look at it like, you know, iPhone, like, you yeah. know, you go regular widescreen, whatever, you can go dark mode. Deluxe is like dark mode to me. Yeah. And it's just like fun. You've worked with legends, M, Eminem being one, mm -hmm. Nas. How were those experiences for you? Because I just, knowing how important this artistry is to you and to work with legends, what did you take away from those experiences? I was just definitely happy and just blessed to be able to, you know, get on a track with him and blessed to be able to rock out with Nas. Those guys are beyond legends in my book and, you know, right. for them to call for my blessing is just amazing. Yeah. How are those conversations? Like, how does that work? Did you actually converse with them about what you're going to put together? Did you take anything away from that conversation that you think is important that most people wouldn't know, but it adds to the beauty of their legacy? And, and it makes you maybe understand them a little bit more. I didn't really get to have a full-blown conversation with him. Mm -hmm. Shout out him, though. He's a legend. Nas, um, Nas was just really, you know, he really liked what I did and and understand who I was at the time and respected me for whatever I had going on and you know he was just into what I had going on so that that enough that was enough for me like Nas is like for sure top five MC in my book so have you ever had any other experiences where somebody that you respect that you admire and they were so invested in your music and it kind of caught you off guard like hold up. I wasn't expecting this, but this, you know, feels amazing. I guess Kevin Durant, I seen Kevin Durant like All-Star Weekend and he was just tapped in. I can tell like, you know, he kind of knew what I had going on for sure. And he was just, a, like I said, he's one of my, he's like one of my all-time favorite basketball players. Yeah. So for, for him to just be like, you know, he, he seen everything I got going on, knowing what I got smoking. I thought that was cool. I guess for you, how do you define success? Because that, that's got to feel nice, right? Kevin Durant and other people, other legends who obviously show their admiration for your work. But for you, how do you, I guess, measure it all? What, how does that look for you? I feel like success to me is just me being able to maintain you know, the ability to make the music that I make and mm. for me to maintain the lifestyle that I want to live and for me to maintain whatever my mom desires is just like success to me. I wanted to talk a little bit about you acting because mm -hmm. we saw what you did for Amazon mm -hmm. and we were just talking about how important visuals are for you. Mm -hmm. 
did that make you want to act more? Or were you like, okay, that was good. I like that experience. I'll do it, you know, in doses. Or is mm. this a world that you'd want to explore? Definitely a world I want to explore. Mm. I love, I mean, I have a lot of character and I feel like, you know, acting is like one of, one of the best ways to kind of show that, you know, so uh, me, me being able to, me being able to just, it's really just my character at the end of the day is me wanting to be funny and kind of act like something, whatever. It's, yeah. What would be your dream role? Be like, do like some Denzel type <laughs> dream role, like some, like some Denzel yeah. 007 Mission Impossible type role for sure. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So sure. That would be amazing. Have you met Denzel? Have you crossed paths? No, nah, he's one of my favorites, but no, I haven't. If there was one question, acting question, that you'd want to know from him so that you can implement, have you thought about this? Like, oh, I'd want to know this from him. How does he embody every character <laughs> he's ever been? Right. And it's so perfect. Yeah, he like, does it. He's perfect. Absolutely, for sure. He gets it all the way off. <laughs> I like this. Mm. I, I, I'm I enjoying this. And I love seeing you being able to express yourself, whether music, you know, videos, acting. Mm. This is really exciting. Where do you see all of this in five years? Where would you like to be? Man, hopefully directing my own movies, you know, mm. making the, my own soundtrack for them and being able to, you know, sit down with some of the greatest um, directors and filmmakers and artist mm -hmm. you have posted something that I, I i love i love seeing people show love to other people who have helped them on their journey you tweeted about dom kennedy saying nobody will really know how impactful dom was to my career yeah i love this tell us how that happened like what did he do for you man he was just like one of the only artists that i gravitated towards that made me feel like yo i want to be an artist like i just thought he was so cool like, everything he was saying and like the way he carried himself was dope. Like, it was like he was just giving, he was giving, you know, young kids the one-on-one, one-on-one on, one on, one on how to be a man, mm -hmm. you know? I feel like, honestly. And um, I just gravitated towards it heavily. Have you spoken to him since? Yeah, mm -hmm. I seen him probably a couple months ago. He, 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 he I, I, I need to hit him up now because he's been listening. I want to see what he really, tapped in on the album but he's been hitting me up you know on, on social media about the album yeah. and stuff and uh he's just like the og man yeah. real legend real og is there anyone else that showed you love or impacted you like that and you feel it's important to give them their flowers kendrick for sure mm -hmm. kendrick for sure back in those times it was dom and kendrick for me yeah it really is just great poets musically outside of them Who's influenced you the most musically? I feel like influenced me the most if we're thinking about this time and generation probably have to be um, Travis, Ye, and Pharrell. Yeah, you went for the top, top, top. Future, future too. Oh yeah, for sure. Them four. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Do you have a favorite album? A, like an album you could listen to front to back that's not yours, but one album that you're just like, man, this is a great body of work. It's one of my favorites. 808 and Heartbreak. Yeah. I can listen to that album all the way through. Yeah. Do yeah. you remember what you thought when you first heard it? I was mind blown. Yeah. <laughs> I was mind blown. <laughs> Isn't it beautiful what music can do for us? Like it could take us back to a memory, a moment in time. Have your fans <clears throat> shared something with you like that with your music? And it's like a story that stands out to you. You're just like, wow. I my my song did this for you. I had a pop up the other day and it was a couple and they pulled up on me with their child. And I just always think that's like such a cool thing, you know, yeah. in a couple. They pulled up with their baby. She was on the baby. She was like, um, she was like, Your music, you know, helped my baby sleep when we had the baby. And I was like, you know, I it's I just thought that was cool. That was like one thing I remember. That is awesome. Yeah. That was oh, cool. I love that. Mm -hmm. That's that's gotta feel amazing, for sure. Cool. What what do you want to leave when it comes to your legacy for everybody to enjoy? Because I know you had also had posted about you wanting to be one of the greatest, mm -hmm. and that is something that you want to achieve. What do you hope people take away from you and the work that you've done? Man, I just I just at the end of the day, he strived to you know be you know different and 
he always set tone in his own world and the music, you know, that he gave to people he cared about mm -hmm. like, more than anything. How do you feel when people talk about your music? You know, I saw a lot of people saying it doesn't sound like traditional R&B. It just mm -hmm. sounds like a, a bit different. Mm -hmm. Do you like that? Do you not? Do you, do you sit back and reflect like, okay, I like it or, I, or it makes me feel weird? No, I love it. I love to be in like my own space. It's yeah. definitely an R&B soul feeling. It's just got a little twist and twang to it. But that's what makes me me, you know? I'm excited to see everything that you got going on. Say hi to Callie. Her album's coming out. Yeah, I was coming out next Friday. Let's go. Are you both celebrating this? Like, what do you, what happens in this time? We, we just, it's nonstop celebration. We just drive, I just drop my album. She dropped her album next Friday. And we just going to keep on going. Do you guys look at numbers or not even care about that? Um, nah, I feel like we both just been working so hard to get whatever we trying to get out. It's like way past our thinking capability at this point. Do you get anxious though? Are you guys both sitting there like, okay, here we go. Let's do this. Or is it more at this point? All right, here we are. I was definitely anxious to drop my album for sure. Yeah. I was definitely anxious and <laughs> definitely excited. And I love the feedback so far. So, yes. you know, we're just going to keep keep pushing keep. i hope you enjoy this time thank you so much of i appreciate course. you thanks for stopping by today yes i had to <laughs> thank, thank you, you.